Well, the Troy community mourning the loss of a two year old boy who died in an apartment fire. It happened early Sunday morning. And as Elise Coulter reports, this is just months after three teenage girls were killed by carbon monoxide poisoning. A small bouquet of flowers lays on the sidewalk outside the home where the two year old little boy lost his life. And tonight, neighbors are still trying to deal with the loss. Children in the house, we need them now. Okay, I need you to get everyone out of the house. I can't get in the door, it's on fire. Doug Snyder lived next door to the apartment that caught on fire Sunday morning. I smelled something, I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe the neighbor was cooking. He's the one who called for help after trying to save two-year-old Chance Poindexter. I grabbed the uh, fire extinguisher, went to try to put the fire out, but the whole kitchen was just too, too hot, way too engulfed in flames to do anything with that little canister fire extinguisher. There wasn't nothing I could do. Austin Daniels lives just a few doors down. He witnessed the whole thing. The second I found out there was a two-year-old still inside, I just honestly didn't know what to believe because I, I have a pretty much two-year-old nephew and I couldn't imagine what would happen if I lost him. There was no way to get into that scene. Troy Fire Chief Matt Simmons was on the scene Sunday morning along with several of his firefighters. We do have a job to do but we're human beings and we can deal with, with, with each other, with the relationships that we've built through the years. It's the second tragedy for the community of Troy in just two months. In March, three kids were killed by carbon monoxide poisoning. And while the community is still healing from that loss, so are Chief Simmons and his fire crews. We're a community together and when, you know, tragedy happens to the community, we not only respond and to those emergencies, but we feel it too. Crime scene tape still surrounds the scene out here in Troy, and fire investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what caused the fire. For now, reporting in Troy, Elise Coulter, ABC 22 News.